Go to Tayra Pinchas, page 150, a little bit above midway. Okay, where it says the Tama Hefesh. Okay, the Al Rebbe is asking a question. The fact is, well, the Al Rebbe asked the question first of all, why is Rech Nechayach that the Jews do what Hashem wants, only mentioned by Kabbalists? Every mitzvah, we're doing what Hashem wants. So he says, what does it mean in the Pasik that Hayyem La Seisam, that in this world you could do mitzvahs, in the other world there's no mitzvahs, there's no tshuva, what you are is what you get. I mean, what you are is what you are. That's it, you can't change anything. So he says, the time a half fish for have no shabbat elam as a little my ball. Keep these few lines we learned. The difference between olam as and olam my ball. Keep the olam my ball in love dove shenly market. Everything has its place. Shakom adregim of dalas mechaverta. Every level equivalent yesterday is different. Everyone is identified as their own unique level. Malachim neshamis digdusha he moved olam befnei atzmam. They're separated. There's a difference between Neshamas and Malachim. There's a difference in Malachim between one type of Malach and another type. There's a difference between one Nesham and another Neshama. And there's no connection between bad and good. Therefore, if good is defined as good, a bad is designed as, defined as bad, where there is good, there is no bad, and where there's bad, there's no good. But in this world, nothing is defined yet. This world comes from Sevev Kolamun. Sevev Kolamun could be changed. Therefore, even though you did a sin, you could do a mitzvah. Why? Because thanks to other medicine, he accomplished that there is no good without bad, there's no bad without good. So therefore, in this world, because nothing is clearly identified and defined already, so to speak, as what it is, so then you could change it. You could change the, the taste, so to speak, from bad to good. So now the question, why is that? Okay, all in Maba, everything is already defined. You can't change it. So why in this world can you change it in Ganeda now? In the world of Elam Abba, is revealed, like we know, what is the uniqueness of Gan Eden? There's a revelation of Ziv HaShchina. There's a revelation of Godliness. Granted, it's only a ray of the Shechina, but there's a revelation. Because there is this revelation of Godliness. Therefore, that's the enjoyment of Nishamas. That they have enjoyment from Hashem, and their understanding of Erinza based on the revelation. In other words, for Nishamis, which are part of Hashem, their real enjoyment is not food, not clothing, not cars, not money, it's godliness. So Gan Eden, which is a revelation of godliness, so therefore the Nishamis. I have enjoyment there. And this revelation understanding So in other words, this, the definition of Gan Eden is enjoying and understanding godliness. No two things understand or feel the same level of godliness. So over there, because it's revelation, nobody has it the same way. If nobody has it the same way, there's so many different levels, but everything therefore is defined as its particular level. Even though everybody gets godliness, what's the difference? It's similar to the nisham in the body. Even though the nisham itself is not divisible, by many different levels, I'll explain in a second. Nevertheless, the vessel for sight of the neshama is the eye. The vessel for the talking of the neshama is the mouth. And therefore, no limb gets the same type of chayas that another limb gets. 
Okay? Meaning like this. In the body, we learned already many times, the neshama is a simplistic power, i.e. battery. It's simple life. Whatever the vessel is for that battery, let's use a battery because it's a pretty clear muscle. Whatever, the put the, if it's in a flashlight, it's going to give light. If it's going to be in a talking toy, it's going to talk. If it's in a moving toy, it's uh, going to be moving. If it's in a car, it's going to make the car go. What is a battery? A battery is one piece of simplistic life. Energy. Okay, I'm using it because I want to speak about the neshama. The neshama is one piece of life. Chayas. That's what it is. The neshama is life. Chayas. Now, because it comes internally into the body, therefore, the eye is going to get that power of sight that the neshama has. The mouth is going to get the power of speech. The brain is going to get the power of thinking and seichel and so on and so forth. So it is also in the world's So Gavriel is Gibura, Michal is Ava, right? So each one gets their own particular level of godliness. Yeah, it's a revelation of godliness, but the eye is not the mouth, and Gavriel is not Michal, and this Neshama is not a Malach, and this Neshama is not a Neshama, and so on. Each tzaddik has its own compartment. And just like you can't change the function of limbs. You can't make from a regal, from a foot, you can't make a head. You can't. A foot is a foot. Then a head is a head and you can't change it. Why? Because once the baby is born, it's clearly defined what part of the body it is. Therefore, you can't change the, the revelations of Olam Abba, the chain. And that's the level of Mamalik Every world according to his level. How much Kali you have, that's how much revelation you're going to have. Bria are more refined vessels than Yitzira. So Bria is automatically going to get a greater revelation of godliness than Yitzira. But not because so much, well, it is in those worlds, because godliness is coming down based on the level. The chain. Yeah, that's what I said, according to the level. The kate what? Yeah, kelim of Let me get godly everywhere at the same moment. It's just a revelation. That's what he's saying. So he's just saying the different way. The different revelations are based on the level of the vessels. In other words, a tzaddik who does only good, no bad, so therefore he is a greater vessel to handle more godliness. Uh, another martial siddhas gives, is, it's not exactly for this, it's more the other way, but the sun. The sun. The sun shines the same whether the curtains are open or not open. It's not a change in the sun. It's a change in the receiver. How much you get? Therefore, when a person does an Aveda and brings upon himself impure garments, so if a guy comes up to Gan Eden with, so to, with, so to speak, impure garments, because he sinned a lot, okay, and he didn't do tshuva, so now, that level in Olam Abba, he's not going to get a lot. Unless he gets cleansed. But technically, he can get a lot in Olam Abba because he's an impure garment. But he's still going to get it? Eventually, everybody goes. Right? Uh, yeah, I think even for you, yeah. But this world is not Memalakal Almond. This world is save of Kalaman. And in save of Kalaman, there's no vessel. And if there's no vessel, there's no difference between vessel A and vessel B. For instance, in the general life that the neshama gives to the body, not the functioning of the neshama, that the person is alive, right? The neshama comes into the body. The body is alive. The head and the foot are equally alive. Because in that level, you don't need the keli. 
Yes, the head is a higher keli than the foot. But the bottom line is that level of life from the neshama makif, save of kolalmin, doesn't need a keli to be. So it doesn't matter what type of keli you have. And therefore, it's a day to him, it's a shayat, it's a adam, a maitzah, divim, a shav. Sham shach, a zudas, comes from the level of save of kolalmin, shayday, kiyam, a teir, a mitzah. By doing teir, a mitzah, behem, a lubash, erin, tzav, baruch, ba, atzmei, v'chvede. Where godliness itself is revealed, the last machshav at Tvisi Beit, where no mind can grasp Elukus, Mamshach Erin Tal Baruch Hu Ba'at Me Seviv Kol Alma Anafshay. Then you bring down Seviv Kol Alma on your nefesh. Shalemay Lemay Lemigile Asoga Shibagani. In other words, this is the concept of what the Mishnah says. One second of Tshuva Maisim Tevim Bei Lemaza is better than the whole Elam Abba. One second of bliss in Olam Abba is better than this, the whole Olam Abba. So which one is greater? So it's very simple. Gan Eden is a lower level, Mamala Kol Almin, but it's revealed. You feel it. That's the advantage of Gan Eden. Therefore, it doesn't say Gan Eden is better than this world. It says, Yof is Shach Shokeras Ruach Olam Abba. One, se- se- one second of bliss in Olam Abba. Bliss is an olam abba because over there there's a revelation of godliness but where do you bring down a greater level of godliness in this world when you do Torah mitzvahs so therefore ter- tshuva maisim tevim in this world is better than the whole olam abba it depends what we're talking about if you're talking about which is a greater level this world which is a revelation of a level greater revelation that's olam abba therefore ultimately when mashiach comes there's going to be the unity that same of Kalalmin is going to be revealed. So you have the best of both worlds, so to speak. It's going to be the essence and in a way that it's revealed. I'm sorry, can you expound on that? So, you what? Why at the time of Mashiach, how is it going to be the combination of the two? It's going to be the essence in a revealed form. <laughs> essence in a revealed form. Correct. The essence otherwise uh, is not revealed. It's revealed in only Correct. O kamei shekot se v'seif shobein in perikim amches. Like Dalton Rebbe says, says in Tanya, the seif of kol almin and bechinus hell and vehesta. But Dalton Rebbe in perikim amches of Tanya says the word seif of kol almin doesn't mean it's around the world versus in the world, because over there there's no time and space. You know, what it means is it's not directly permeating and affecting the world. It only affects the world indirectly. Like the nisham in the body, that it's alive, it's not functioning. It hovers around it. It hovers. Therefore, it's limited. So, what's the difference between this world and the world to come? The world to come, everything is already identified, defined, on its place. You can't change it. Therefore, you can't do Torah mitzvahs in Gan Eden. You can't do Tshuva in Gan Eden. Because it's too late. It is what it is. Like I said, once the baby is formed as a boy or a girl, you can do whatever you want. It's not going to change. Right? You can only daven before it becomes formed, the gender of the baby. Then you can daven. It should be a boy or a girl. The Gemara says after 40 days, it's called tefillah shav. You're wasting your time. You, cannot, you, you can't daven. It's not going to do anything. Unless if you're Leia or Yaakov or whatever, then they changed Dina into a girl. Okay. This revelation of Alukus in Gan Eden is only Zibovad Miterasi Vavidasi. It's only a ray of the Shechina. The commission calls it like it says, Laov, the Lusham Rashem put Adam in Gan Eden before he was driven out, right? Before the Chet. Hashem put him in Gan Eden, Lo'avda u'l'shamra, which is positive mitzvahs and negative mitzvahs. Sha'adda mumam shech Gan Eden. A person brings down Gan Eden, Ha'inu gil elokosh be Gan Eden. V'tayin egan l'sham is kumesh yukosim b'kamachem. Who causes the revelation in Olam Abba? The Jew, based on Mount of Torah mitzvahs he did in this world. If you did more Torah mitzvahs in this world, you're going to bring down a greater revelation. Why? It's very simple. You're a greater keli. A greater keli automatically gets more. But in the level of Seviv Kolalmin, it's Shavu Mashvu Katan Vagadu. 
ulefanav kachashecha kaeda. That level which is not defined yet. So then, like he says, big and small, uh, dark and light, it's predefined. Like we learned, how can you get a miracle in nature? Is only by tapping into a level of godliness which is greater than both. Because once it's defined as miracle and defined as nature, you can't change it. In order to change from light to dark, dark to light, nature to miracle, whatever it is, you need to tap into a level greater, which meaning, what do you mean greater? In a level where everything is the same. It's not defined. If it's not defined, it is whatever you want. It is. Absolutely. Yep. And they say, and the, where the Malachim say, I am a Kaim Kveide, we say this in Kedusha. And what did they answer? Kveide Malay, Malay Chalar is Kveide. Lachain Afa, Pisha Yodid, Mata, Mata. Therefore, even though the person in this world is very low, Yachul Alis, Maila, Maila. You can elevate it super high, Vinod Seifim, Mit Chalasim, because the end is wedged in the beginning. In other words, Dafka Olam even though it's lower, but because it comes to the level of Seifim Kalam, and nothing is defined yet. So bad could become good by doing tshuva. You can make bad into good. You can, God forbid, make good into bad. Huh? Well, the Gemara says about if you regret a good deed you did, but uh, it's not necessarily according to Chassidus. But other, you can make something good into something bad. I could do you a favor, and because of that, bad happens. It's possible. That's not your fault. That's not my Yeah, but my action is causing that to happen. It's still me causing it to happen. Does Nefesh Abama have a Kaili? Yeah. So how could it receive from Does Klippa have a Kaili? The, the Kaili is very Klippa. It's very covered. So how could it receive from Makit? Oh, because Makit doesn't need a Kaili. That's the whole part. Why? No. Why a Goyim? Very prominent. In a world, the the bad people, why are they on top of the world? Because it says, okay. Goyim are not a keli to Kedusha. Therefore, Goyim get their chayis and makif. Makif, bottom and top, top and bottom is all the same mishmash. It's a, it's a ball, it's, it's all top and bottom. But Nishamis, what's that? Nishamis come from the Plinius. Plinius means a keli. You're not a keli, you don't get it. You're not a keli, you don't get it. You need to be a vessel. In a way, they're higher than the way they're higher. They come from higher tails, higher than Tikkun. Esav is the B'chor, not Yaakov. Yeah. Yeah. So it depends on what they choose. Correct. If they choose to do the right thing, then, then right. they go to the right Even like men, the formula that they would have to... to, to, to uh, yeah, they have to keep, the, keep the, Sheva Mitzvah's the, B'nai Deif, but they don't bring Kedusha into the world. Physically speaking, and there are formulas that if you do those things, you'll get to the top. So there is Seder. Yeah, but if you cheat and you get to the top, yeah, I'm just saying, yeah. Look, you're versus, doing against what Hashem wants. How does Hashem make you successful? You get to the top. Right, but people who don't do that, they don't get there. So there is top and bottom. I mean, there is a in seder. this world. Yeah, that's what. I'm yeah, saying. but it, there. the you reason the why the good is, people are at the bottom and the bad people are on top. Right, that doesn't make sense. <laughs> That doesn't make sense. What's the answer? Because when you get from Akifim, evil can, the bottom could become top. And top could become bottom. You can also get top. And Akhanami. For Inyan, Kiamosh, Mavoli, Odomosh, you said before, Sheyav, Shalas, Ismir, Agoraj, you can't make from a foot ahead. Hainu, Belam, Abba, that's in the world of Olam, Abba. Sho'elam, Birr, what's his world of refinement? Shekvan, his bar, it's already refined. Behold, Abraham And everything's on his place. The head is, once the baby is formulated, even in utero. But once the baby is formulated, then there's a head and a foot and a stomach and everything. Therefore, you can't change it. Which is It's not refined yet. And this is the world to make it refined, to do action. Before the baby is formed, before the embryo is actually formed, 
Hareis v'regel kulam yachab atipat shebebeter. When the seed goes into the, the woman, at the beginning, in that seed is head and foot, but you can't detect head and foot in the seed. It's before it became broadened through the mother to take this, this, this seed and refine it, and then it becomes identified as head and foot. But before that, it's not identified yet. Like the Gemara says, uh, like we just called it this day. The Gemara says, and, and Shonarch says, before 40 days of conception, I mean, before the end of 40 days of conception, you can dominate and change what the gender of the baby is. Okay, base. That's the power of tshuva. To take the chayis that was done through an Aveda, that you brought this life of Elokus all the way down, you're able to elevate El Mekayra Vishosha. Back to the swords, the Yetznoid, say from the to end the wedge in the beginning. Meaning, you could take evil and you can make evil into good. Avedas become mitzvahs. That's only in this world, the power of Chuba. That's in the love of Mamalikolam, which comes from Malchus, like it said, Malchus, Hamachus, Kolam, and Machus, and Bekoma Shalom. Shazanim, Shahishtau, Shazamadregis, Me'elam, Vad Elam. From the level of Mamalikolam, meaning the permeating level of godliness, comes all the various different levels. Shakoma, Shayated, Mata, Mata, the lower it comes. Yaded, Mismaid, Bechinus, Gilear, and Tzabarchu is less revelation. The lower you come, meaning the less vessel you are, the more coarse you are, the, the thicker you are, so you're automatically going to get less. What? Grabiung. Shagili v'chin is bitl. The gilu is the level of bitl. Shein eretz abar shem is galab mishabat. Therefore, the lower you become, you can't get godliness because godliness needs a vessel. The vessel for godliness is bitl. That's it. The, completely non-existent to God. If you are something, then you're not Kedusha. Therefore, Therefore, the world of Atzilis, which is Elukus, it's not Bria yet. The world of Bria is Yesh Miyayim, where it already becomes something, a Yesh. Atzilis is not Yesh Miyayim. Atzilis is Gile Yehelem. So therefore Atzilis, that's where the Atzilis means, Eitzel, near, because it's a world which is completely bottled. Yes, it's limited. There is Chesed, Gevorah, Tiferes, Netzah, but Chesed is Alokos and Gevorah is Alokos and Tiferes is Alokos. Everything is Alokos because the Kalim, Yevachayachad, Yevachayachad. In Atzilis, Alokos, the Or, and the Kali are all one. Is that really the Kali? It's a Kaylee. It's not a Kaylee, like, 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 uh, the, you know, the Heen, you know, like the other places. Like what? It's, it's, uh, Why is it Kaylee? It's just a refined Kaylee. But if it's one with its, with the light? That's silly, because the Kaylee is bottle telokos. If it's bottle telokos, it is a locus. It's a Kaylee for it. Like it, it's an infinite Kaylee. Right? Huh? The Chesed is infinite Chesed. Yeah, but it's still limited as Chesed. Chesed and Atzilis is not Gvura. So there's a limitation to it. So, but it's infinite Chesed. In Bria, not only is it 10 levels Chesed and Gvura, but each one is limited. Because the Keli is not the same Keli. It's not Batul Telukus. It's not Batul Telukus. You don't got a Lukus. There's only one way of getting a Lukus, feeling a Lukus. Therefore, in Gan Eden, no body, no nefesh abamis, only in the shama, clean the shama after cleansing, it gets a lukus. Now, even if it's one second, even when it gets cleaned, you know, you can be clean, but that doesn't mean you had enough good on you to make you greater. In other words, a, a, a person who's not so great, yeah, so they did have errors, they did mitzvahs. So they come into Ganeid, the Gehenim, they get cleansed. Now they come into Ganeid, and so they're clean. But the actions, the positive mitzvahs, they didn't do a lot. Right? So they're clean. 
They're not dirty. They didn't do any Avedis. The Avedis were all cleaned. But 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 the Shamas that have tzaddikim, they did a lot of mitzvahs. So of course they're going to get more revelation in Gan Eden because they're more okay. Yeah, they're clean. The Rosh is also clean. The what? What's the lipus test for one to know that he is uh, nullified, he's self nullified? If, I'll, if give you, if uh, I'll give you a one. I'll give you a one liner. I'll give you a one liner. You don't do what you want. You do what God wants. That's called bitter. Okay, so somebody, all of us think that this is what God likes us to do, but we don't really know exactly. How we know. We're doing what Torah says is good and bad. Now, what you say is good and bad. I heard the nice Shalom Bito. It's B2. B Hashem's tool. <laughs> B the tool. I, I, got, I got it. I got it. But that's... Okay, so the Russia comes and said it comes. Right. Both are clean. Yeah. But who has more good on him? Sadik. So he's going to get more Ganadin. But he can, this guy can do it and he cannot get it either. He cannot change it. He can't. No, it's too late to change it. So he has to come back. Yeah. Until he does all mitzvahs, like that. Very good.